Good morning. This is our time with the Lord. Amen. We're thankful for all of those of you who are joining in. Bless the name of the Lord. So let me start out with have a blessed morning with midweek prayer. This is our time with the Lord, praying in the word. We want to start out with 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. God has things prepared for all of us that love the Lord, not just like him, but love him. Bless the name of Jesus. That means when we love him, we honor him, we obey him, we spend time with him. Praise God. And this is what we're going to do this morning. This is our midweek prayer to take us through the rest of the week. Um, we're praying for people that have lost loved ones, uh, even during this month. Um, we're praying for the Causey family who lost one of their uh, military um, family members. And we're just praying for them. We're praying for all of those that are yet in the military, people that are working in Afghanistan and Iran and Iraq. And, and people that are in Asia, people that are all over the place, people that are stationed in Germany, wherever they are, we're praying that God keeps, not only that God keeps uh, those soldiers and, and personnel for the military, but also that God saves them because they're in the front lines and they really need Jesus because at any moment, glory to God, they can go into eternity. And we don't want anybody to go into eternity Amen. Without Jesus, we know some will, but we're just going to pray. Good morning, Reverend Rogers. Bless the name of the Lord. We already started out with eyes have not seen. Eye has not seen, Lord God, nor ears heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that the Lord has in store for those that love him. Praise God. We got the love on Jesus. Praise God. 1 Corinthians 2 and 12, 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Amen. It's so important for us to have the Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us. Even when we begin to pray, we ask the Lord, lead us, O God, in the scriptures. Lead us, O God, in the music. Tell us what you want us to do. Tell us how you want us to do it. And God, we give you glory for it. We magnify you for it. So we just want to set the atmosphere. Those of you that are home or in your car, you can pull over for a little while. But those of you that may be at work and you have a little special place that you can go to, Praise God and just set the atmosphere. You can set the atmosphere around your workspace. Glory to God. Whether you're working at home or in a physical building, you can set the tone. Amen. When you walk into that building, glory to God, you walk in pleading the blood of Jesus against the enemy that would try to cause you any aggravation or stress. So we're praying this morning for all of you that are going to go to work in a physical building. And even those that are working from home, Amen. And, and, and online, we're praying for you because folks can aggravate you even when you're online. So we're just praying that God keeps our minds. We've been having such a good time since the year came in. We've had some, some bumps and bruises along the way, but that's just what the battlefield is about. Praise God. So we, we just want to praise God. Good morning, uh, Minister David. Praise the name of Jesus. God is moving. And those of you that are ministers, amen, I want you to be prepared to minister, amen, even on Jehovah Rapha's page. I'm going to work out some things where I can pull you in, amen, so this pastor can get one night of, of just rest, amen, praise the name of Jesus, because we are a busy ministry. And as I said, we're not trying to do all of this by ourselves, that's not going to happen, amen, so those of you that are ministers, uh, don't be shy. Shocked if I message you or inbox you and tell you, okay, this is going to be your night. We're going to pull you in. And it's also good to hear what God is saying to others that, that are preachers. Amen. We, we, we don't know it all. We know in part. Praise the name of Jesus. But we have to know that the Holy Spirit is given to us. Good morning, Sister Terry. Is given to us freely. Given to us by God. All we have to do is be patient and wait on it. 
and God will do the impossible. I am so looking for God to do some stuff. My expectations are so high in what God is going to do with us, in us, through us, and for us. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. We are living waters. Glory to God. We are the salt of the earth. Praise the name of Jesus. And we are going to begin to walk in our calling as, as those that are called to be saints. Praise God. Those that are called to be salt and those that have the living water on the inside side even as the scriptures have said in John the seventh chapter in verse 38 I want you to hold on to these scriptures amen so when the enemy tries to drain you dry and when the enemy tries to tell you who you are not you can tell the devil you are a liar because I know who I am in God good morning prophetess Alan blazing praise the name of Jesus Thank you so much for your words for the day. Amen. Good morning, Sister Linda. God is so good and he's so awesome. Remember 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. We don't receive the spirit of the world as children of God, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. We, we really can't know what God has for us if we don't seek him out in the spirit. Glory to the name of Jesus. We, we expect God to do things, but we don't ask him. And we're not persistent in our asking. I want us to be committed in our asking. It's not just about us. It's not just about, Lord, me, me, me. But, Lord God, use me, Lord God, as as, as that living water, that, that cistern that's not broken, that I might share with somebody else the love of Jesus Christ. You, we have no idea how many people are, are miserable that are rich and famous, but yet they're miserable. They got to get high, and they keep seeking for a higher high. Glory to God, they're drunk. They get behind the wheel. They drive. They wrap the cars round, round trees. They run into things. They're miserable, even though they're wealthy. Glory to God. And we don't know God may be dealing with them. So we're just going to ask God to start drawing them, because they don't know which way to go. They see so many churches, bless the name of Jesus, and, and, and they see stuff and most of the stuff is just geared for finances and, and their fame. And, and I tell folks, oh, can't, I don't care who walks into the building of the clarion call, glory to God. I don't care if they're famous and got Emmys and, and Grammys and everything else. If they are not saved, they don't get in the pulpit, they don't grab a mic. I don't care how well they can sing. Glory to God, you're not saved. That's not how it works in this house. And this is what people are looking for. Don't patronize me because I'm rich. Don't patronize me because I'm famous. Don't patronize me just because I got a good voice and I can bring people in with that. Love me because I'm a soul that needs Jesus. How about that? We got to get back on our post, people of God. God will put people in our lives that need him if we get back on our post. So we're going to go before the Lord this morning and we just started out this morning in, in, in Corinthians praise God just talking about we haven't seen it yet we think we've seen God do some stuff we ain't seen nothing yet Glory, I know well ain't is a word now they put it in the dictionary so we ain't seen nothing yet Romans 8 and 26 Romans 8 and 26 it said likewise the spirit also helps in our weakness this is why we need the Holy Spirit Romans 8 and 26 we we need him in our weakness for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered Bless that's the name of Jesus. We got to get it together. I'm expecting so many great things for you all and for those that are coming in. Even in my own life, I'm just expecting great things. Glory to God. I'm expecting those praise reports. Won't he do it? Yes, God did it. How he did it, I don't know. God is amazing. These are the kind of posts that I'm looking forward to. Glory to God. Um, God has made a way. Praise the name of Jesus. You don't have to tell people all your business. Just let let folk know, praise God, that God is moving by his spirit. We, there is a God in Texas. There is a God in Jamaica. There is a God in Connecticut, in New York, in Pennsylvania. There is a God in Washington. There is a God in Afghanistan. There, Yes, there is a God in the Middle East. There's a God in Israel. And we're praying that Israel be saved. Jesus knows they need to be saved. Glory to God. So we're praying for them. We're praying for all those that, that have lost people. Glory to 
God. We're praying for their strength. Bless the name of Jesus. We've, we've been touched by so many things that were negative. Glory to God. People are missing. We got people now going up against the Asian population. Praise God. Because they don't have nothing better to do. You know why they go up against us? Praise God. Because they... they the enemy uses them because they're miserable. And misery loves company, praise God. You you can't get what you want or how you want. You're not living right. You're not happy. So you want to put misery on other people. But praise the name of Jesus. We that are here know how to pray. We're glowing, g- going to God. Praise the name of Jesus because God is a mender. Glory to God. He'll mend the wounded and broken. He will heal the body. He will heal the spirit, soul, and the body. God is a healing God. Glory to the name of Jesus. So remember this. When we don't know how to pray, glory to God. Remember Romans 8 and 26. We have the Holy Spirit on the inside that will will intercede for us when we don't know. We got the Holy Spirit interceding. Jesus at the right hand of the Father interceding. We can't go wrong. Uh, we There used to be a saying. They said, you, you can't, you can't lose with the stuff I use. Praise God. And the stuff I use is my faith. Glory to the name of Jesus. You can't take my faith. Glory to the name of the Lord. We're going to prepare your hearts. I wanted to say all of that because I want you to set the atmosphere wherever you are. Set the ask, cast out every unclean spirit. People come and go in your house. Just cast it out. You've gone out and been around people or even in the supermarket. Glory. Cast out everything. Glory to God. That might have tried to slip through the crowd cast everything else and set the atmosphere to receive from the Lord this morning everything that you need from healing prosperity in the spirit soul and body glory to God financial breakthrough whatever it may be glory to the name of Jesus God is here this morning because we're meeting he said those that seek me early will find me that's a promise we got from God bless the name of the Lord Father we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ Yeshua the King we glorify you in his holy name he is the only begotten son of God the Father we thank you O Lord for your son we thank you Lord God he is also your word We thank you for our atoning sacrifice. Jesus, we glorify you because when we were in captivity and we were being held hostage by the enemy and sin, you paid the ransom for us, oh God. And we thank you that you paid the ransom. You gave your life in the place of ours, oh God. You gave up a whole lot, Lord God, so that we might have. Lord, and we thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We come thanking you. We come to the throne by faith to Together, we enter the throne room asking you to forgive us for all of our sins, things that we may have done, Lord God, that we didn't know was sin, something that we might have said, some way we might have acted, even something we may have thought, even something we might have listened to or heard. Lord God, we want you to get rid of all of that. We don't want it, so we apologize for it, oh God. Just for what you did for us, Jesus, we don't want to grieve your spirit. We don't want to crucify you all over again. Lord, we want our actions to be pleasing to you. We want our prayer to be pleasing to you. Our teachings, our prophecies, our singing, our playing, whatever it is that we do in your name, we want it to be pleasing to you. God, there's no sense of us doing anything that says the name of Jesus when it's not pleasing to you. We don't want to offer up strange fire, oh God. We want to be right when we come before you. So we ask that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness and wash us in the blood blood of Jesus Christ. If anybody has woke up this morning, glory to God, and they have a spirit of heaviness, God, we bind that thing up in the name of Jesus, and we cast it off of the people of God, and even those to come, bless the name of the Lord, and Lord God, we loose right now the garment of praise on the people, the garment of praise on the people, the garment of praise right now is being loosed on the people, in the name of Jesus, where they couldn't praise you like they wanted to, Lord God, because stuff that weight that besets them, oh God, has bogged them down, Lord God. Not the sin, God, but just the weight of the world, the things that they have to endure on a daily basis, God. News that they may have gotten from the doctors, oh God. News that they might have gotten from friends or family members, oh Lord, that are depressing, oh God, that are that are soul-wrenching, oh God, that are heartbreaking. And Lord God, it wears the saints down. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we're asking, like Dave said, 
David said you're a restorer of souls, oh God. So we're asking you to restore our souls this morning, oh Lord. Restore us in the blessed name of Jesus. And we will bless you at all times. And your praise, Lord God, shall continually be in our mouths. Lord God, we're going to praise you in the valley. We're going to praise you midway up the mountain. And we will praise you on the mountain peak. Lord, we're going to praise you in the storm. We're going to praise you in the dark times. We're going to praise you when everything is going right. God, we're going to praise you when it feels like we're forsaken. And we're going to praise you when we know that you're present. God, we're going to praise you, Lord God, when folk come against us. And we're going to praise you when folks are with us. God, we're going to pray to praise you when the haters are hating, oh God. And we're going to praise you for the Lord, that the ones that love us, oh God. And we just thank you, oh God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, oh God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. We thank you that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Everything that the devil has plotted and planned, every demon and devil that he has loosed, every child of the enemy that he has loosed to put him in our lives. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, nothing that they do will prosper. In the name of Jesus, we can't let them push our buttons. We have to watch, oh God, and recognize the tricks of the enemy. Let us discern, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the tricks of the enemy. Open our eyes that we can see it's not people that come against us. It's the enemy that uses people to attack, oh God. And we thank you that we know that that, that the weapons of our, our warfare are not carnal, oh God, but they're spiritual and they will pull down strongholds and the enemy doesn't like it, oh God, because we come against his camp. We come against him, oh Lord, and he tries to destroy the church, but we've got a promise that you are the rock, glory to God, and the church is built on you, and the very gates of hell cannot prevail against it, and we thank you, oh God, that we are the church, glory to God, and hell can come at us, but they can't win over us. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. You're such a mighty God. You're such an awesome God. You're such a powerful God. You're such a righteous God. We brag on you, oh Lord, this morning. We speak well of you by blessing your holy name. There is no Nobody that loves like you do, Lord. There's nobody that can care for us like you do, Lord. There's nobody that understands us like you do, oh God. There's nobody that tolerates us like you do, oh God. There's nobody that can forgive us like you do. We thank you, Lord, in the blessed name of Jesus. For your love, we thank you. For your mercy, we thank you. For your goodness, we thank you. For compassion, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for salvation. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for the word of God. We thank Thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for power and authority over all of the power and authority of the enemy. We thank you in the blessed name of Jesus. We glorify you and magnify you that the enemy can't steal anything else from us, oh God. For now we're on God. We're not giving him anything by what we say, oh God. Even when nobody's around and we're just talking out loud, we're going to watch what we say, oh God. For the enemy listens all the time. That's his strategy, oh God, when we're not thinking, oh Lord, and we say things and he's listening and he knows how to build a case against us, oh God. He knows how to build strategies against us because of what we verbalize. So now, Lord, teach us to speak life instead of death, oh God. Once we have that eternal life on the inside and we become those cisterns, those 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 holders of the water of life, oh God. Lord God, we're no longer broken and damaged. We don't have any leaks, oh Oh God, in the name of Jesus, because we are secure, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of God. And now, Lord, we can bring forth that living water in our lives, in our homes, on our jobs, in our ministries. Lord God, even to those that are yet in the world that are coming to you. Lord, we recognize that the world's not going to be saved. This is why you said, Jesus, I don't pray for the world. I already know what they're about. But those that are in the world that are going to come to me, I pray for them. This is what you said. And you pray for those that were with you and those of us that were coming. Lord, over 2,000 years ago, you prayed for us. My God, you had us in your mind before the foundation of the world was created, before you made an angel. Lord, you had us in mind. And we thank you, oh Lord, that we have this time. You didn't allow us to be born in certain ages and in certain areas, oh God. You opened up the door so we could freely praise you. You opened up the door where we've got technology now 
that we can reach people that we can never reach before. Lord God, we thank you that now we don't have to go on a plane and run somewhere. Lord God, we can just go to the internet and still speak to hundreds and thousands. Oh God, we just glorify your holy name. We can be international and not even leave our home. We glorify you for the technology, oh God. We glorify you even though the enemy wants to use it for evil. Lord, we thank you as your children. We glorify you for this opportunity to reach out for those, Lord God, that we could not get with, oh God. We could not be with physically, Lord God. We couldn't be in the same room. But by faith, we are together right now in the throne room. Glory to God, surrounded by the angels of God that are listening to us as we pray. Lord, some of them are amazed at how we can grow through, how we can continue to praise God after some of the things they've seen that we have come out of. Lord God, they're watching us. They're learning from us, oh God. And when we begin to talk about redemption, they can't join in because they've never been redeemed. They don't understand what it is to be saved from sin. Lord, glory to God. And they listen. And so now as we bow before you, In the throne room of God. Lord God in the name of Jesus Christ. Clothe us O Lord in righteousness. Clothe us in the name of Jesus. Help us to keep in mind. That we have to walk in holiness God. Because without holiness. We'll never see you O God. And right now help us to walk up right before you Lord. Order our steps O God. Guide our feet in the name of Jesus. Let our feet be like hinds feet God. As we're going up the mountains O God. We see skip and we hop, oh God, and we leap, oh Lord, and we enjoy it, Lord God, because we recognize in the name of Jesus that the joy of the Lord is our strength. The enemy wants to steal our joy by things that happen in life, oh God, but we recognize, oh Lord, we're just passing through this right now. This earth is not our home, glory to God, but we got a better place, oh God, that the building and maker is God, glory to the name of Jesus. We praise you, oh God. God. We magnify you, oh God, for that which is to come, but even how you're going to bless us in the time right now. We glorify your holy name, Jesus. You said, ask, oh God, and it shall be given. You said, seek, and we shall find. You said, knock, and the door will be opened. This is what you said in Matthew 7 and 7. And verse 8, God, you said, everyone that asks, and we ask in faith. You said, we receive, and everyone that seeks will find, and everyone that knocks. You said, the door will be open and you can't lie. You can't do it, oh Lord, because you are the truth. Truth can't lie because it's the truth. That's the fact. You're faithful, oh God, even when we're not all the time. Lord God, when we mumble and grumble and complain about everything, Lord God, about things that are happening, we give the enemy so much credit. Lord, we're not going to do this anymore. Lord, we're not going to mumble and grumble and complain about every little bitty thing. Lord God, but we're going to praise you. We're going to give your name the glory. And when the enemy wants us to complain, we're going to praise your name. When he wants us to mumble and grumble, Lord God, we're going to give your name the glory. Help us to keep in mind, Lord God, that these things that we're growing through are for our patience and to make us strong. And they're only temporary. When David said, I go through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, I'm going through it. I'm not setting up camp. I'm not going to live in this valley. Lord God, I'm going through it. And God, sometimes we have to pass through that valley. Bless the name of Jesus. We recognize that salvation is not a bed of roses by itself. It has some thorns in life. And God help us to recognize that there are just some thorns that are going to come up in this thing that we call life. And Lord, we thank you, glory to God. There are some things that we sown in our past that comes up and bites us in the juggler sometimes. But Lord God, you give us strength to grow through it in the name of Jesus because you will not be mocked Glory to God. You, you, whatever we sow, you said we're going to reap. And Lord, when we sow things in ignorance, Lord God, and reaping season came around, you stood by our side. That's how we make it through the reaping season, oh God. And now, Lord God, we're planting good seed in fertile ground. Even when we're praying, oh God, that seed that we're planting, oh God, and we're planting seeds, oh God, and we're waiting for that crop, that harvest, oh Lord, because we will not faint and we will 
not give up because it's due season, oh God. We got winter, spring, summer, fall, and due season, oh God. We thank you for that fifth season called due, oh Lord. And we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that we're claiming our due season. It may be today, tomorrow, or next month we're claiming our due season. If it has to wait till next year, then so be it. We're claiming our due season. You said if we faint not, Lord, glory to God, we're going to get the reward if we don't give in. Even though when we get weary and we get tired and we get worn out, sometimes we get battle bruised and scarred. But God, we will not give out. We will not give in. We will not give up. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because we recognize that you're on our side. You hold us up, oh God. You hold us up. We're engraved in the palms of your hands, oh God. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we've been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world if they want it. God, we thank you in the name of Jesus that from the foundation of the world, we've been predestinated, glory to God, to live with you through eternity. Not because you picked and choose, Lord God, but you already saw what we were going to be. You already saw our hearts. You knew that we would be in sin, but we turn around. And you also know that there's some that are in the world right now that have the heart of turnaround. And God, in the name of Jesus, I loose your spirit to begin to draw them. Draw them, Lord God, that are searching for you for real. Draw them them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that are looking for a real true word, even though it may eat them up, God, they're looking for a real word from you. Draw them, oh God, in the name of Jesus to the throne. Draw them in the name of Jesus. Don't let us be so quick to get out of your presence. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for in your presence, according to the word of God, there is a fullness of joy. Lord God, not just joy, but a fullness of joy. This is why you said you come that we might have life and an abundance of life, God, more than just life, oh God. Lord, you want us to have better and more than better. And Lord, we thank you in the blessed name of Jesus. Glory to your name of Jesus. It says, now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Romans 8 and 14, Romans 8 and 14, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. This is why I don't believe in, in, in saints being depressed. For when you're in the presence of the Lord and the spirit of the Lord is present, there's a freedom, glory to God. How can we be yoked up and bonded up and chained up and locked down, glory to God, by the enemy when we enter into the presence of the Lord and the spirit of the Lord is surrounding us because there's a liberty there. The Lord has given us freedom. Some of us are locked up, Lord God, not because of the devil, not because of people, but because we don't recognize that you have already freed us from bondage, oh Lord. We've got folks that are claiming to be saints that are still bound because they don't realize that the chains have been broken. Lord God, even though the locks may be on their feet and their hands and their minds, the locks have already been opened. We just got to shake this stuff off, oh God, and let them drop from us and kick them to the side, never to pick them things up again. Bless the name of God. You've already freed us. Us. You've liberated us, oh God. No matter how much man tries to bind us, Lord, glory to God, you have liberated us in the spirit. This is why people don't understand that no matter what we grow through, no matter what kind of storm comes our way, we can still laugh and we can still have joy and we can still rejoice because of the spirit of the Lord that has given us liberty. Glory to the name of Jesus. According to Romans 8 and 14, we've got that glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus, for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, glory to God, these are sons of God or children of God. If we're being led by your Spirit, oh God, you said that we are your children. And as your children, we're heirs. And we're also joint heirs with your only begotten son. And Jesus said all power was given to him both in heaven and in earth. And Lord God with him on the inside, he gave us power and authority. Bless the name of Jesus. Luke 10 and 19 lets us know that we have authority over the enemy. Glory to God. Whatever he shoots at us, we got the shield of faith to put out his fiery darts. We thank you, Lord God, for the helmet of 
salvation that keeps our mind set. Glory to the name of Jesus. We thank you for the breastplate of righteousness, oh God, because we couldn't live righteous or holy on our own. We thank you that you gird up our loins, God, with truth. Lord God, no falseness, no errors, oh God, but truth because that's our birthing place, oh God, that when we birth, Lord God, it will come forth as truth. When that water, that, that living water comes from us, God, it will be lively and life-giving and life-sustaining. It won't be bad water, oh God, because we are the salt, glory to God. We are the preservative, glory to the name of Jesus. And the waters on the inside of us, glory to God. The spirit on the inside of us, glory to God. We thank you, Lord God, that this living water is living water, glory to God. It's living, it's life-giving, it's self-sustaining, glory to the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh Lord, that we recognize who we are and the authority and the power that we have. We thank you, oh God. Now, Lord, even as we're getting our souls straight, we're asking you to teach us how to get our bodies in line in the name of Jesus that we might be whole both in spirit and in soul and in body. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We're not going to speak death, glory to God, but we will speak life. We're not going to speak fear, glory to God, doubt or unbelief, but we're going to speak with power and love and a soundness of mind. We thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We're going to speak those things that are not we can't see them. We can't touch them. But God, we're going to thank you for those things that are not, Lord God, not yet and manifest, Lord God, although they're in the works. Lord God, we're thanking you in advance and we're speaking those things that are not as though there were. God, we're speaking health regardless of how we feel. Lord, we're speaking health regardless of aches and pains. Lord, we thank you for health. Every time we feel a pain or get an ache, God, we're going to say thank you for our healing. Thank you for our deliverance. Thank you for making us not just healing us, but making us whole every way in the name of Jesus. Make us complete in our health, oh God. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for life and health and strength, oh God. For the dead ain't praising you right now, Lord God, on this earth. We are the ones that praise you. We that are alive right now, oh God. So let us be lively souls, oh God. And remember whose we are. We're ambassadors for the kingdom. We're ambassadors for Christ. Glory to God. We're representatives of who you are, God. And let us remember this at all times when the enemy tries to get on our final nerve. Glory to God. We recognize who we are, Lord God, and we're standing with our heads up in confidence. We're not conceited. We're just confident in who we are in you. Lord God, we boast and brag on the things that you have done in our lives that we don't deserve. We don't deserve your mercy. We don't deserve your blessings. We don't deserve your glory. We don't deserve your blood. We don't for, for, we don't deserve your forgiveness, but Lord God, you give it to us anyway. Lord God, we know we don't deserve your grace, that unmerited favor. We don't deserve favor, but Lord, we thank you that it's a free gift. And if we walk up right before you, we will walk in favor. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We will walk in favor. Glory to God, regardless what people think. We will walk in your favor, Lord God. And as long as we're walking in your favor, the enemy can't do anything about it. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Glory to your holy name. We recognize for every new level, there's a new devil. And for every new devil, there's a new authority. We thank you. Glory to the name of Jesus. We recognize new power. As we go higher and higher in you, our level of power, our level of faith, glory to God, increases. Lord, in the name of so we can combat the enemy with the sword of the spirit. Lord, our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And Lord God, we thank you for the shield of faith. Glory to the name, that thing that we believe in that we can't see. Glory to God, we thank you for the shield of faith. And when the enemy comes and throws those darts, those fiery darts of fear, doubt, and unbelief, we can also say the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a soundness of mind. We thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, O God. I can do all things through Christ. Christ, glory to God who strengthens me. Philippians 4 and 13 declares this for us. We can claim this. I can do. I can do. I don't care what the enemy says or what comes up against us. I can do it. As long as the Lord gives me strength, I can do it according to Philippians 14 of Philippians. 
4 and 13. Glory to God. Philippians 4 and 13. We recognize that the devil is a liar. He is the father of lies. He was a liar from the beginning. It had been on the inside of him to be a traitor. Glory to God. And to lose his first estate and those that went with him. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us to stay sure-footed in the kingdom of God. That we don't lose out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. While others are being saved, God, we don't want to be lost. Even Paul said, after everything that he's been done, Lord, don't let me be a castaway. Glory to God, it would be a cry and shame for us to do all the prophesying and the praying and the laying on of hands and the teaching and the preaching and then wind up standing before the white throne judgment just to find out that our works weren't right and we get cast into the lake of fire. God, we're not trying to go out like that. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is why we come together. This is why we do what we do. We want you to be pleased with us, oh God, with everything that's on the inside of us. Be pleased with us and we recognize that when you're pleased with us, we will be under attack. When you're pleased with us, our bodies may act up. Lord God, for the enemy might attack just like he did with Job. Lord, in the name of Jesus, but be pleased with us, oh God, because we recognize that these things are just temporary. Although they may seem long to us, oh God, it's just but a moment. Bless the name in your sight. And God, we thank you for giving us that that power to stand, that power of endurance, glory to God, that when we feel that we're about to faint, we got one another, Lord God. We can pray for one another. And Lord God, if the group gets faint, Lord, we thank you that we can come together and come to you and you intercede for us, oh Lord. You lift us up, oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus. It is you that exalt us, oh God. It's you that help us, Lord God, to be established in what we, we need to do in ministry. We thank you, Lord, for every doctor that joined up in the ministry, every MD that's working with us. God, every herbalist that's an MD that is working with us. God, we thank you for just incorporating them in our lives. We thank you for folks in every state of the United States and even outside of the United States, those that are coming in. Oh, God, we just glorify your name. We ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you continue, Lord God, to use us, those of us that are in ministry. Lord, wherever our place may be, glory to the name of Jesus. Help us to reach out to others, to let them know there is a God still on this earth. There is a God still in the cities. There's a God that's still in the towns. There's a God that's still in the states. There's a God that's still in the countries and the provinces. God, we thank you that wherever there are people, you are present. Glory to the name of Jesus. Because somebody, one of your children somewhere, even if they got to hide and pray, bless the name of Jesus, as they do in China. We pray for our brothers and sisters in China. Lord God, losing their lives for the word of God in the name of Jesus. We pray for them, for their protection, for their strength, Lord God, that they might endure hardness as good soldiers. God, we are blessed right now, but we recognize the enemy wants to come against us. And Father, help us to use wisdom. Although they're trying to lift the band with these masks because folk got shots, help us, Holy Ghost. Lord God, what's coming, Lord God, what's coming, what's coming, what's coming? Someone's bringing in a whole new creature, Lord God. And folks don't want to wake up, Lord God. They thought we were false prophesying for the last two things that we said, oh God, that came to pass, Lord God. When that mutant part hit, Lord, they realized we weren't lying, oh God, and that we were, we were not being false. And God, summer is bringing stuff that we're not prepared for in the natural, but God prepare us in the spirit and teach us how to deal with the physical man. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, things that you've given us, oh God, wisdom that you've given us, people that you put in our lives to help us to help the people. We thank you for it, oh God, that when the world goes through this, oh God, the people of God, glory to God, glory to God, the people of God, hallelujah, glory to God, it will be well, praise in the name of Jesus. It will be well with the people of God. Glory to, with the children of God. It will be well and the world will not understand it. Oh God, they're not going to understand how come some got sick and the people of God are whole and they're well because God, we're preparing for this. We're preparing for this, oh God. And we thank you in the name of Jesus for everything that you've given us wisdom to do. Oh Lord, for how you showed us to set things up. Lord God, how you're working in the people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, and we glorify your holy name. Your name is holy. 
holy. Your name is righteous. Your name is powerful. Your name is awesome. Lord God, when your name is spoken by the children of God that have authority, even demons tremble at your name. And we thank you when we call the name Jesus. We praise you. Glory, glory, glory. Whether it's Jesus, Jesus, Yahweh, Yeshua, we thank you for the names of Jesus. We glorify you for being our way maker. We glorify you for being our provider. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our righteousness. We thank you that you are our peace. Lord God, the world don't understand it. It surpasses all their understanding, but we have peace in you, oh God. We can lay us down in peace and rest because we know that no matter what happens, God, we are in your hands. We thank you in the blessed name of Jesus. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore, according to Psalm 16 and 11. Psalm 16 and 11. Keep these scriptures, beloved. Oh, for the midweek. Keep them all week long. Glory to the name of Jesus. God is such a good God. He's such an awesome God. Praise the name of Jesus. Right where you are, you need to start giving him praise. And when I say praise, I'm not just talking about thank you, Jesus, but begin to brag on him. Begin to boast on him. Tell him how awesome he is. Yeah, he already knows it, but he he just wants to hear from his children. Glory to God. You're a mighty God. You're an awesome God. You're a wonderful God. You're a battle fighting and battle winning God. God, you have never lost a battle. Jesus, you've never lost a battle. You are the host of God's army. You are the the head of God's army. You are Jesus, glory to God. The Lord of hosts, glory to the name of Jesus. You've got more than 12 legions of angels, Lord. We thank you in the name of Jesus for those that encamp round about us. Those that you've dispatched to protect us if we will listen. Help us to be sensitive to the move of your spirit. Help us to hear in the spirit, Lord God. Anoint our ears with salve straight from your throne, O God, that we might hear correctly in the name of Jesus. Anoint our eyes, O Lord, that we can see plainly even when it comes to the word of God. And anoint us in our hearts and our minds that we can learn how to deal with one another in the name of Jesus. We may not always be in agreement, but teach us to agree to disagree in love. And we thank you in the blessing the name of Jesus Christ. We praise you, O oh Lord, that we have no walls. We thank you for the no walls movement, O oh God. The cyber church, O oh God. This is the time that we can reach people that we couldn't reach behind four walls. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We don't know what you're going to do with us down the line, but we're looking for it, for it, Lord, because it's going to be great. We thank you, Lord, that you will establish us. We thank you, Lord, that you've made us sound. Our footing is sure. We're like the trees planted by the rivers of waters. We will not be moved. When the storm comes, we dig down deep. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will not break under pressure in the blessed name of Jesus Christ. We don't know how we're going to leave here, what we're going to leave here with. But Lord God, whatever you do in us, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. There are things that go on in our lives that we don't understand. But Lord, we thank you that is working out for our good because we love you. Lord, we are the call according to your purpose. And we thank you in the blessed name of Jesus. It may not always feel good or seem good, but we know that it's working. Didn't say that it was finished, but it's working. Lord, we thank you. It's working. We forget that word. It's working for our good. It's being made into good things. And while it's while it's working, glory to God, it is like while the meal is cooking, we have to learn how to say thank you and be 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 praising you for the meal that for the meal that we're getting ready to receive. We thank you in the blessed name of Jesus that good things are coming to your children. Bless the name of the Lord. People are jealous and envious and hateful. Glory to God. But that that's just who the children are, Lord God. The children of Satan, the children of disobedience, that's just who they are. We can't get upset with who they are. That's who they are. Just like who we are. They're upset because of who we are. People hate us because we call on the name of Jesus. They say they don't believe in you, Lord Jesus, but they hate us because we believe in you. God, how do they hate us for something that they don't even believe exists? Someone that they don't believe in, Lord God, it's because they do believe. 
And because the way we live, oh God, is showing up sin, glory to God. And they don't want their sin shown, so they hate us, oh God. That's the reason behind their hate. Glory to the name of Jesus. They don't want to commit and give in. And we have, Lord God, and they're upset and not realizing if they just do right, if they just commit, just like you told Cain, it said, listen, I'll accept your sacrifice if you do it the right way. You don't hate your brother Abel because he's doing what I asked him to do. You just do right and I'll bless you too. And folk don't recognize, haters don't recognize. If you just do what God told you to do, God would bless you likewise. Praise the name of Jesus. It don't matter uh, about the colorism. Glory to God. There's no such thing as racism. Bless the name of Jesus. It's colorism because we are one race. Bless the name of Jesus. We are one blood. Glory to God. Different types of blood, but one blood just the same. Oh God, I thank you for that message that just dropped in my spirit. I glorify you, oh God. It is a wonderful thing, glory to God, to be led by the Spirit of God, to know who God is in our lives. Praise the name of Jesus. Listen, as you're going through the rest of this week, recognize glory to God. Hey, I, I thank God for, for those that are, are coming in. Praise God. Brother Wang, a man from Afghanistan. I just happened to look up and see his face. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. He says his reception is not that great sometimes. Amen. But we're still believing God. He said he wants to get closer to the Lord. So we're going to ask that y'all continue to pray for our Asian uh, population, God, because when God does for him, He'll take care of the rest and use this one man, God, to bring in others. So we just praise God. Amen. We don't know what God is going to do or how he's going to do it, but we recognize that he will. Jesus said before he left to go back to glory, to sit at the right hand of honor and power of the Father. Amen. He said in John 14, 27, he said, peace I leave with you. <laughs> Thank you, God. My peace. I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is why we're not depressed. This is why we're not oppressed. Glory to the name of the Lord. Simply because we've got the peace that G Jesus said, I'm not just giving you peace. Listen to what he said in John 14, 27. He said, my peace. I'm giving you my peace, the same peace of mind that I have as who I am. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm giving you that same peace. You've got peace of mind. All you got to do is claim it. Amen. God is good. Beloved, as you go forth during your day, whether you go out, whether you stay in, whatever it is that you're going to do today, do it all in the name of Jesus and for the glory of God. Ask God to lead you uh, into what to say. Uh, sometimes it's just sending something in messenger. I, I thank God for my sisters that send me morning messages. Amen. Around 9, 930. They send me little things. Do something like that for somebody because you never know whose heart you're going to touch. And before you do it, Ask the Lord, Lord, who do I send this to? God, who? Because some people just send stuff and it's aggravating because you're just making a mess of things. You're not thinking about what you're doing. You're just doing, just rambling. But I want you to start thinking of what you're saying. Amen. And when you get ready to do something for the glory of God, say, Lord, lead me and Lord, guide me in the name of Jesus so that I don't make a mess. I don't make a mockery of your name. But God, give me wisdom when I speak. Sometimes, you know, when, when you're talking to people, it, it, let them talk. Amen. Let them get out what they need to get out. And then when you're listening, you'll know how to pray for one another. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Those of you that desire uh, to know about what we're doing health wise and how to get uh, what you need health wise, um, just hit me and, and drop me something in my inbox in, in Messenger. Praise the name of Jesus. And we'll have a meeting, Lord, say the same Saturday, maybe around 1 32 o'clock in the afternoon. And I will show you the product, amen, that I'm putting together according to the needs of the people and what I hear people saying and what I hear that people are suffering from. Glory to God, I'm putting it together. I've ordered my capsules that you can, it, it, it will give you exactly what you need. You ain't got to measure nothing. I'm putting it in there. It's annoying putting them little things together. Y'all pray my strength, amen. But as we're putting it together, as we're putting the teas in the bags, 
Amen. We're praying over everything that we do, that whatever is taken in will be nourishment and health and healing to your bodies. Amen. A lot of you have stomach issues. Amen. And you keep claiming your stomach issues. So now it's time to rebuke them things. Amen. I know several of you have problems with uh, gut health. Amen. And we're going to do our best to get you back where you need to be gut health wise because when your gut is healthy the rest of you follow suit amen so we want to work on the center amen i i thank you lord jesus we we want to work on the center of the being amen and from the center of the bit that's why he said out of your belly he didn't say out of your mind or out of your heart he said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water why because it it proceeds from the center of who we are glory to god so we want to deal physically and spiritually with the center of who we are so at uh, around 1 30 saturday afternoon just let me know whether or not you want to want to know a little more amen we're going to be pulling folks in praise god and on messenger uh praise the name of jesus so make sure you know how to turn your camera on amen so you can see what's going on i haven't done anything live with facebook as of yet because i'm still working with google and our workspace so that it will be on google and you can just go to google and do what you do but right now i want to start with those of you that have been faithful i want to put you in first amen because products run out real quick once google hits so i want to the i want the saints of god to get it first amen and i want y'all to be healthy spirit soul and body i love me some jesus and i love me some y'all y'all have a great day listen to me carefully just because you can run don't mean you got to run sometimes you just have to be still and hear the voice of the lord and let peace just run over you like shower water. Glory to God. Just the peace of the Lord. Enjoy the rest of your day. Amen. The Lord say the same. We will see you again on Friday evening at 8 o'clock. Something dropped in my spirit while we were praying. We'll see if that's where God wants us to go. And we'll just go from there. Amen. Listen to the spirit of the Lord. Listen. Glory to God. And what God wants you to do. Listen. Bless the name of the Lord. And the Lord say the same. We'll see you then. I love me some Jesus. And I love me some y'all. Have a great day blessed and overcoming day in the name of Jesus Christ.